cycling in mechanical uh, ventilation indicates changing from inspiration to expiration. You can set the inspiratory time by setting the IE ratio and the respiratory rate. On some ventilators like Dragger, you can directly set the inspiratory time on the machine. If you set the inspiratory time longer than the inspiratory time of the patient, you end up causing delayed cycling. On the other hand, if you set the inspiratory time on the ventilator shorter than the patient's inspiratory time, you end up causing early cycling. In this graphic here, this is the end of inspiration where the pressure is released to the peep level. At the same time, the flow becomes negative or expiratory flow and the volume starts getting out of the lungs. Notice that this is the cycling of the machine, meaning this is the end of inspiration. However, earlier than this point, the patient started to exhale here. You can see that the flow is pushed down to zero and the pressure is pushed up. This is more pronounced on the second breath here, where you can see the patient started to exhale at this point. Because the valve is closed, the pressure is pushed up at this point. However, the machine did not finish inspiration till this point here. So this means that the inspiratory time on the machine is longer than the patient's inspiratory time. So this is delayed cycling. Cycling on the machine is longer than the inspiratory time of the patient. So this patient exhaled at this point while the machine is still in inspiration. And this is delayed cycling. So what you need to do is you need to shorten the inspiratory time on the machine to coordinate this with the inspiratory time of the patient. So you shorten the inspiratory time and then you synchronize the inspiratory efforts of the patient with the inspiration of the machine and they both cycle at the same time. That's all what I have for you on this one. Thank you very much.